104 year old Man Kaur, 108 year old Fauja Singh, and 54 year old Milind Soman are some of the examples of people who have either slowed down or reversed the aging process because of running. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Melt Your Cheese. I'm your friend Devyansh and in this video we'll find out how running reverses or slows down the aging process. Let's do this. Now a lot of international media houses like New York Times, BBC and Business Insider have quoted scientific researches which suggest that running slows down and even reverses the aging process. In one such research published in the European Heart Journal, researchers compared the effect of running, weight training and high intensity interval training on the aging process and found that running slowed down or even reversed the signs of cellular aging and weight training did not. In another study, researchers found that running was better at reversing the biological age as compared to walking. But how does that happen? For that, we'll dive into biology. Now the human body is made up of tiny cells and these cells are further made up of more elements. One of those elements is chromosome and each cell has 23 pairs of chromosomes. These chromosomes are protected by structures called telomeres and these telomeres protect the chromosome from deteriorating. But as we age, these telomeres become shorter in length, resulting in chromosome deterioration and cellular aging. But the body has another mechanism to protect these telomeres through the release of an enzyme called telomerase. Scientists found that when we run, this enzyme telomerase is released in larger quantities. Telomerase prevents telomeres from becoming shorter in length, in turn preventing cellular aging. Now that was at the micro level or the cellular level. At the macro level, running reduces stiffness in the arteries and brings down the blood pressure, in turn ensuring great cardiovascular health. Researchers also concluded that from a human evolution perspective, running in today's day and age is very similar to the survival behavior our ancestors showcased thousands of years ago when they'd be constantly on the run while trying to fight animals and find food. Now the question is, how much running will actually slow down aging? As per a lot of studies, 150 minutes per week or 20 minutes per day of moderately intense activity like jogging or 10 minutes per day of high speed running will work wonders when it comes to slowing down the aging process. So you don't really need to push that hard for anti-aging signs to show up, but if you love long distance running, you'll reap some great anti-aging benefits. Man Kaur started running at 93, Fauja Singh ran his first marathon at 89, and Milin Soman started running at the age of 38. But does age really matter when it comes to running? It does. As per science, the athletic performance of humans is at its peak in 20s and 30s and it starts declining after the 40s. But as per another research, people who started running in their 50s and 60s had the same muscle mass as compared to those who had started running in their 20s and 30s. They also had much less body fat and stronger hearts as compared to those who did not do any other form of exercise. Also, runners in the 50s and 60s aged differently than those in the same age group who were not active at all. Now, another question that pops into our minds is if running is the only good exercise. Not true. As per science, running is just amazing when it comes to slowing down the aging process, but other activities like weight training, body weight exercises, or even CrossFit play a major role when it comes to burning body fat, boosting metabolism, improving mental health and gaining muscle mass. So mixing up your workout can do the trick for you if you're looking at slowing down the aging process and also looking at reaping other benefits of exercise like improved metabolism and good muscle mass. So what I generally follow is a 60-40 workout rule where 60% of the week I run 
and 40% of the week I do weight training or body weight exercises. Apart from just running and doing other exercises, it is also important to sleep well and eat clean to reap the maximum anti-aging benefits of running. So that was today's video on the anti-aging benefits of running. If you've liked the video, then share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe for more such content. Keep watching Melt Your Cheese and I'll see you in the next video.